The topic of the non-invasive biopotential sensors for future wearable electronics. So my name is Li Yao. I'm a research scientist uh, currently at Meta Reality Lab Research. So I'm uh, leading the material development for future uh, AR, VR, and XR applications. So let's start the presentation by uh, first take a look at it. What is a biopotential sensor? So biopotential sensor is actually a transducer that can detect the ion distribution on the surface of tissue and be able to convert, convert the ion current into electric current. There are uh, different types of the biopotential signals, right? For example, the uh, ECG, EKG, uh, that uh, can be used to detect the heart activities, like the EEG that can be used to detect the uh, brain activities, and also the EMG, which can be used to detect the uh, motor neuron signals and also the muscle constructions. <laughs> so the uh, biopotential sensors can be used in different applications, including uh, biomedical devices, uh, the consumer electronics. Right? There are a lot of great talks for applications like especially the previous two was focused on the biomedical applications. Right? For biomedical applications, it can include some of the biofeedback therapies, the medical diagnostics, and also some uh, regenerative uh, medicines and also other applications. For the consumer electronics, uh, we can use it for uh, computer, uh, human computer interactions, like fitness tracking and also sleep stress tracking and also spot uh, performance. There are different types of the uh, biopotential sensors, right, including the implantable and also non-invasive. Right? Within the non-invasive, uh, there are patch electrodes and also dry reusable electrodes. For the patch electrodes, it has been very well uh, developed and used in uh, biomedical applications. But for the dry and reusable electrodes, still remain uh, very challenging and also high demand in many different applications. Especially one of the application I want to uh, deep dive is into is a human computer in actions, like for the AR, VR, and XR. <coughs> yep, so let's uh, take a look at, uh, so what is the human computer in actions, right? For the next generation of the human computer in actions, it requires exceptional Simple to use, uh, reliable, and private interfaces that can really remain the user present in the, in the real world all the time while be able to handle uh, digital tasks, uh, including, for example, um, for example, playing the video games with friends, playing virtual spots, or doing typing without need to using a bulky devices as currently we are using, including the mouses and uh, the keyboards. Right, so Meta has been uh, 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 working on this next generation of the human computer interactions interfaces by introducing different uh, wearable devices, including the VR headset, the smart glasses, and also the EMG wristband. The EMG wristband actually is using the biopotential sensors to be able to translate uh, the uh, electric motor neuron signals that travel through the wrist to the hand into a digital command that it be able to uh, control a function of a device. Yeah, it offer the users uh, be able to, the signals be able to offer the user the communication of a uh, like crisp, a uh, one bit uh, digital command you can use to control uh, your device. So the, this uh, level of the control can be super personalized and also adaptable to different situations. For example, you'd be able to really control the uh, virtual objects like you are controlling it in a real world. And also the signal from the wrist can be so clear that you'd be able to detect the fine motion of your finger of a few millimeter. So which means um, the, input, the input can be effortless. So to uh, enable this vision, it is very important to, be, to have a high performance by potential sensors that can extract high quality of the uh, uh, motor neuron signals from the body. So now the question is, which type of the uh, biopotential sensors can be used for this application? So uh, let's first look at it. What are the popular biopotential sensors on the market? Right, there are two types of the biopotential sensors are listed here. The first one is the implantable biopotential sensors. 
So as we know that, the implantable biopotential sensors are embedded inside of the body. 